For most students that are learning Portuguese, knowing the gender of nouns is one of the most difficult things in the learning process. It all begins with understanding that every noun has a masculine or a feminine gender. How about those particularly challenging words that end with an A and are masculine? As you can see, there is always an exception to the rule, and this is another great example. Today, I will walk you through a useful list of these tricky words, explain how to memorize them, and why they don't follow the rule. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I have been developing European Portuguese content for over three years now and love to share my Portuguese language and culture. So if this is a topic that interests you, make sure to subscribe and check out my Patreon page for extra resources. E agora, vamos começar! Portuguese is derived mainly from Latin. Therefore, the gender of words in Portuguese is usually the gender of that word in Latin. We also need to remember that Portuguese has suffered a lot of influence from other languages and cultures, such as Greek or Arabic. Also, as a result of the Portuguese navigations, there are plenty of words introduced from other languages, such as Persian or Mandarin. This fact, of course, interferes with the logic behind the Latin gendered words. One of the first rules you learn in Portuguese is that there are feminine and masculine words. If you want to learn more about the basics, I suggest you check out our previous video about common mistakes students make. Gender has no relation to what the object, idea, or act means. Whether they are masculine or feminine, it's related to the origin of the word. Teachers usually explain that in general, masculine gendered nouns and adjectives end in a no, while feminine gendered nouns and adjectives end with an A. But there are also some masculine gendered words ending in an A. Knowing there's a rule for most of them will be a true game changer, but you still need to memorize a few. The first case are nouns of Greek origin ending in ema, ima, ima, and oma. You will see that many of these words also exist in English. Let's check a few. O programa, program. O grama, gram. O quilograma, kilogram. O panorama, panorama, or scenery. For words ending in ema, we have o problema, problem. O telefonema, phone call. O tema, theme, o cinema, cinema, or movie theater. O poema, poem, o sistema, system. For words ending in ima, there are not many masculine, but o clima, the climate, is a useful one. The last suffix is oma, o aroma, aroma, o coma, coma, o sintoma, Symptom, o idioma, language, o diploma, diploma. The second group are non Latin words ending with an A and marked with an acute accent on the last syllable, as in o sofá, sofa, coming from the Arabic, o chá, tea, coming from the Mandarin language. Some countries spelled with a final A marked with an accent are also masculine nouns such as o Panamá, o Canadá. Next, we have professional or temporary occupations ending in ista. These words often translate to the English ones ending in ist. In Portuguese, these words can be masculine or feminine depending on the gender of the person they're referring to. In this case, to match to the gender of the person, 
you just change the article in front of the word, but never change the final letter of the word itself. Let's check some examples. O turista, the tourist. The female tourist would be a turista. O jornalista, the journalist. Same change to become a female journalist. A jornalista. But back to the Greek origin words. The astronomy words ending by eta are also masculine. O planeta, planet. O cometa, comet. Not related to astronomy, the word atleta, athlete, comes from the Greek and is also masculine. For a male, o atleta. For a female, a atleta. Also some words derived from Italian, ending in a, that are feminine in Italian, become masculine in Portuguese. O mapa, map. O alerta, alert. Last but not the least, don't forget the word dia. That is probably the most used masculine word ending in an A. If it helps to memorize, think that we say bon dia because dia is masculine and boa tarde, boa noite because tarde and noite are feminine nouns. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave me a like and a comment. Feel free to write some sentences with these words to practice. Até a próxima!